from a clean room perspective, I mean, Commonwealth's the first to go to market with the concept or the notion of, of clean room um, itself. Um, I think it's it's something that um, that we've looked at. So if, when you, we, uh, it's all about cyber resiliency. Um, you know, when there is a cyber event or, or there's some kind of um, cyber attack that's actually taken place at a customer site, um, and the on-premise systems are basically impacted. Um, the whole notion of clean room is, is having a place um, that's separated from uh, fr from your on-premise or, or your primary production facilities that allows you, from a security standpoint, to be able to recover your systems and your services um, in, 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 in a complete fashion. Um, and from a redefining technology perspective, you know, I think, I think because Commonwealth's the first to go to market with us, um, and, and our ability in terms of what we've got in the product itself, and certainly what we've developed in, in, in the form of the clean room product as we've got it today, um, that's kind of set us apart in terms of how we're able to help customers actually recover from cyber, cyber events as such. Um, so, so the clean room recovery itself um, is basically getting your systems, your, your, your services, getting your data um, in, in, in a place where you can actually recover it in a meaningful manner and, and a very quick time to recovery as well. So that, that ultimately is, is the problem that we're trying to solve with, with, with the concept of clean room. When you look at what Commvault has done in the past, you know, we, we've had a whole lot of um, you know, an anomaly detection capabilities um, that would basically come up on the Commvault system itself to say that there's some kind of anomalous behavior or there's some kind of threat actor that's in play. Um, being, uh, the integrations with Azure, with Palo Alto, with, with, with all of these, you, know, you, you mentioned um, Palo Alto Networks uh, Cortex, um, that's ultimately where the next step in our evolution. So being able to integrate with these seams and, and, uh, and sores um, from that perspective so that the security team understands what is happening from a backup perspective. So it's, there's no point in us just saying, okay, we have an anomaly and nobody knows about it. Um, you know, it's the integration into all the security stacks to make sure that people are aware that, okay, some kind of sense has been, been, been triggered, there's some kind of thing happening in the environment, let's, let's look at it. So making sure that the right people understand the right information at the right points um, reduces dwell time, it reduces the, 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 the probability of actually having, um, of being penetrated in essence. Um, so, so the more that those integrations kind of continue, and then, and then it feeds into the next phase of it, right? So being able to then do some kind of forensic analysis, assuming some kind of event has happened, being able to go back into the forensic data to understand, okay, what has happened? How did we get penetrated? You know, we, can we do a bit of a, of, a, of a test to see what exactly is going on and, and what our exposure actually looks like? So, so having all of those pieces actually feed into the clean room recovery capability is ultimately what, what we're continuing to drive. So that will just continue to, to, to grow and escalate organically as well. Again, it comes down to um, the notion of democratizing the infrastructure and democratizing the data, right? So, so Commvault's main go-to-market originally was the whole notion of any-to-any -any portability. So whether it's an on-premise workload, whether it's a cloud workload, irrespective of where it lives, um, in, its, in its primary production state, um, being able to recover that to whatever target is ultimately the sweet spot of what Commvault has brought to the market for a long time. Um, when you look at what clean room um, uh, uh, or clean rooms, the, the concept of clean rooms is, is the ability to then make sure that, um, you know, if all the systems have been compromised, that in essence, the, 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 the organization is still able to kind of have some kind of business continuance. Um, the landscape's going to continue changing. You know, we've had a, an acquisition called the Pranix. Uh, so Commvault's acquired a company called the Pranix. Um, and in essence, what this technology now does as well is that it um, allows for, because it's one thing just bringing the data and the actual virtual machines back as an example. But what about all the networks? What about the load balances? What about all the infrastructure that's required? So this Apprentix um, uh, technology is gonna further our ability from a clean room perspective to be able to bring back systems in a matter of hours instead of days, weeks, or months. So, so really that's, that's kind of where, it's, where, where the landscape's headed.